All right, so we're going to start with the number 10th best GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. And we're going to Indianapolis, man. We're going to nap town. We got to talk about Chris Ballard. And I got to give you a little caveat with this. Now, the difference between number 10th and number 20, 25th is really, really a small stretch. So Chris Ballard right now, he's right on the on the brinks right now because I like how he parlayed his move. Okay, we all know he's looking for a quarterback. That's all because the roster, the entire roster is set. Great offensive line. I love his defensive line. I, I love the linebacker units. You know what I'm saying? I love the running back. So I love the, the as far as the skill position, even though a lot of people don't talk about it but i do love as far as the pieces he's created in indianapolis but the most important piece is the quarterback he's been searching for a quarterback since he's been in nap town so from the philip rivers from last year to the to the carson wins debacle so but i love how he parlayed the carson wins nonsense to the matt ryan situation so this is why I have my man Chris Ballard. You know what I'm saying? CB, Mr. Ballard, as my number 10th ranked GM going into the 2022 NFL season. But like I said, if Matt Ryan's situation don't work out like the Carson wins, then he's probably going to be more in the 25th rank. But if he works out as like um, I'm Philip Rivers, then yes, he will. Then he is a top 10 GM in this league. Number nine GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. We gotta go to Denver Broncos, man. Y'all are like, Guru, man, this guy's new. How the hell is he top 10? Yes, George Payton is a top 10 GM in this league already, man. Cause this dude already came in and he knows how the game is played, bro. This dude has the testicular fortitude, man, to go out there and get himself a quarterback. I'm not talking about none of those rookie quarterback when you like, oh, is he gonna be a buzz? Is he gonna work? Is he not gonna work? Nah, 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 nah. George Payton is like, I ain't messing with that, that nonsense, but I'm gonna get me a, a made man. And he went to the damn Seattle Seahawks, man, and got himself a made man, Russell Wilson, in his prime, man. And that's a hell of a GM move. And you gotta compound that by the, the drafting he's did and the smart moves he's done with as far as uh, the roster movement. So George freaking Payton, man. He's moving up the ladder quick, man. I love his movement. And most importantly, this man know how this league works. Man, for you to win in this league, you better go get yourself a quarterback. And he got himself a made man in Russell Wilson. And that's why he came in as number nine ranked NFL GM heading to the 2022 season. Number eight. GM heading to the 2022 NFL season, and we're going to the Philadelphia Eagles, man. We got to go to the Philadelphia Eagles and Howie Roseman. Yes, the same Howie Roseman. I've been, I, I don't like Harry Roseman, so I'm gonna be personal. I think he's just, I don't like his, I think he's a slickster, man. Now, this is something about this dude I personally do not like. I don't like the way he does business, but personally, man, this last year or two he's actually turned it around and i like the roster he's built it's created so i'm taking my biases a personal biases as far as this and let me let you all know that i like what the eagles are doing i actually love the eagles this year i love the roster i believe they got the best offensive line um unit in the whole entire um nfl heading to next year i love the skill play, um, players they got unlimited positionless players man so i like the eagles direction so howie roseman obviously Jelly Hurts. We know Jelly Hurts have limitation, but also I do like his, his, his what he brings to as far as his assets, man. This dude intangibles are off the charts, and and that's what that's what they need in the locker room. And I think right now it's a great mesh in Philadelphia. So kudos, Howie Roseman, coming in as my number eighth ranked GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. My number seven ranked NFL GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. We're going to the Los Angeles Chargers, man. Yes, Tom Telesco, one of my favorite GM, one of the favorite, one of my favorite NFL minds to, um, to watch and listen to, man. Tom Telesco finally got himself a franchise quarterback. That transition from the Phillip Rivers, and now he got himself Justin Herbert. And I love the draft pick he's done the last couple seasons, man. I'm telling you, the Los Angeles Chargers are going to be, their, their roster is set for a 
years to come. Not for a season, but for years because of the mind of Tom Telesco. Obviously, they added Khalil Mack this offseason, so I love I love what Tom Telesco does. Well, if, if Tom Telesco stamp it, then best believe the good will believe it. And Tom Telesco is like, hey, hey, guess what, Chris Greer? You want to drive to her? Boop, boop, guess what? I got me some Justin Herbert, man. So Tom Telesco, one of my favorite GMs, one of the best GMs in the NFL in the league, and he's still a top 10 GM, and he's coming in as my number seventh ranked NFL GM, and he finally got himself a legit franchise stud quarterback. And my number six ranked NFL GM heading to the 2022 season, man. Are we gonna be more, man? We gonna charm city, man. We gotta talk about Eric DeCosta, man. You guys know how I feel about the Ravens. I love everything about the Ravens. I love everything about the franchise about the Ravens. I love how um, Ozzy built it, and I love how he handed off to Oz, I mean, to Eric, and I love the way Eric is taking that baton and taking it to the next level. Obviously, there's going to be a contractual situation with uh, Lamar Jackson, but we know the Ravens. The Ravens do things the Ravens way, and they will handle this situation in-house. So I expect Eric DeCosta to take care of Lamar Jackson and get the Ravens prepared. The Ravens are one of my favorite teams as far as a Super Bowl contender, and the window is still there for the Baltimore Ravens because of Eric DeCosta, man. So Eric DeCosta, still one of the best GM and at the Baltimore Ravens, one of the best run organization in all of sports, not just football, but in all of sports. That's why he's number six as far as my top 10 ranked GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. Eric the Coaster, Baltimore Ravens. So now we're at the top five as far as best GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. And we're going into the Tennessee Titans, man. We go to the Titans. We try to talk about John Robinson, honestly. Like, this dude, everything seems like whatever he does in the draft, because that's all the Titans do is draft. And they get mid-grade free agency. I'm talking about low-level mid-grade free agency that always seem to work in Tennessee, man. I don't know what this dude got. I don't know if he got the Midas touch. I don't know what John Robinson got going on over there in Music City. But everything he does, man, I love it. Every time he drafts, man, the Titans, you always like, who's this guy? Who's this guy? I'm talking about this guy is the small school prospect king man when it comes to drafting prospect from a small school you ain't never heard of till draft day man the tennessee titans man and, and john robinson is the king to the of that and that's why the titans are always always formidable and they're always a playoff contender man even without a franchise quarterback this dude is doing this with ryan tanner hill as the quarterback bro let me tell him tell him about that's if that don't give you top five man then you don't know nothing about football man john robinson the only guy in this list without really a franchise quarterback the only guy in the top 10 without a legit franchise quarterback that's how good he is man john robinson from the tennessee titans my number five rank and GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. Coming in at number four is we gotta go to the Buffalo Bills, man. And y'all know I love this unit, man. I love this. Y'all check out my content. Y'all know how I feel about Brandon Bean, man. Brandon Bean has always been one of my favorite GM in this league. And now he's getting recognized for this, man. Cause he's built a freaking beast over there in Buffalo, man. Do y'all know how it is to build in Buffalo? Ain't nobody going to Buffalo. Ain't no free agent going to Buffalo, man. But Brandon Bean, I'm talking about, they got themselves a stud corner. They got themselves now Von Miller. They got themselves a franchise quarterback. I'm talking about, they got the coach. You know everything you want in Buffalo, you got it. That's why the Bills are right now going into the season as probably the front runner to win the Super Bowl because Brandon Bean has put together a freaking masterpiece roster in Buffalo, man. I love Brandon Bean. Y'all know how I feel about Brandon Bean. Number four ranked GM coming into the 2022 NFL season, baby. Coming in at number three ranked GM heading to the 2022 NFL season, 
We got to go to Tampa Bay, man. Jason Light. I mean, this is an easy pick, man. This dude got Tom Brady, bro. You got the GOAT, man. And you got all those depth. You got youth. You got everything in that group, man. Look at the roster for the uh, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, man. My man Vita Vita is a beast, man. You got that young kid playing defensive end. Uh, I'm Tyrone, just Justin Tyrone, dude. And man, you got the you got the corners, you got you got um the safeties, the roster, you got the offensive line, and you got the GOAT. You got the receivers, you got uh, the whole roster. This is a Super Bowl roster. It has been a Super Bowl roster. That's why they've been going deep in the playoffs. And that's why they won the Super Bowl a couple seasons ago. Jason Light is in his bag, man. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be a, one of the best teams in the league because of the roster Jason Light has built up. And that's why he's my number three ranked GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. My number two ranked GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. Y'all know who it is, man. The defending champion, the defending Super Bowl champion, Les Snead. Y'all know what it is. The man says, F them picks, man. This guy's like, I don't care about draft picks, man. I'm about to go buy me Super Bowls, man. That's what he does. He knows how to maneuver the market. There's some people in the world that just know how to maneuver the market, man. And Les Snead know how to maneuver the market. This dude ain't no builder. I ain't hearing anything about building shit. He's like, nah, man. I ain't building shit, dog. I'm finna get pieces together, man. That's what he does. When he talking about getting pieces together, bro, ain't nobody do it better in the league than Les Snead. That's why my man is like saying, F them picks, man. I'm talking about a great pickup uh, with, with um, the Detroit Lions quarterback. You all know Stafford. You all know I don't really mess with Stafford, but that was excellent pick. Kudos for making that ballsy pick. And those guys just paid, man. It's like, if you're valuable, if you're going to help them get to the Super Bowl, like the OBJ uh, um, transaction midseason, you, the last need, will look every corner to make sure you could help him win the Super Bowl. That's all he cares about. He don't care about paper. He don't care about draft picks. Like he said, F them picks. And that's why my man came in as my number two ranked GM heading to the 2022 NFL season. Coming in as the number one GM heading into the 2022 NFL season, man, it's not other than Brad Beach, man. Yes, I know it's a combo, right? I know it's a combo. You go to the damn fast food, day and night, they're just the meal. You got to get the combo right here, man. Brad Beach and Andy Reid, yes, but I'm going to focus more on Brad Beach, baby, because my man is the draft. God, man, when he talking about drafting since he's been in Kansas City, man, ain't nobody draft better than the Kansas City Chiefs, dog. Yes, they might not have hit on running backs. Ooh, ooh, they did hit on running back. Kareem Hunt was one of their running backs, but obviously situation happened. But anyhow, my man Brad Feech is the draft god. Y'all look at the offensive lineman. I'm talking about they got the best offensive lineman out of, not, for, not known for, outside of Philadelphia, in my opinion, man. And obviously, I love the transition as far as what they developed. They came from that air raid. He's like, yeah, I don't pass the ball with Patrick Mahomes. I got all this receiving core. But now, he got all this offensive line. He got beef heavy guys. I expect the Kansas City Chiefs to be more of a power team, play action team. The roster just shifted. Brad Feech is a beast. He just shifted roster right in your eyes. And the goo is sore, but y'all ain't see it, man. That's why this dude is the draft god. The number one GM in the 2022 NFL season is Kansas City Chiefs, Brett Feach. Because everything he does, does everything he touch is as tasty as the Kansas City barbecue. Y'all know what it is. Like this, love this, share this, and I am out.